Hey Pixel peeps, it's officially that time of the month. The October 2025 security and software update for Google Pixel devices is rolling out now. As always, the update is a phased rollout, so if you don't see the update available for your device immediately, no worries, you should get a notification on your phone in a couple days. Or you can also check for the update manually by going to your settings and then going to system, and then software update, and then system update, and then check for update, and then it'll download. I've already received and installed the update on my Google Pixel 10 Pro. It's safe to install, everything seems to be working correctly, so feel free to get that downloaded as soon as you can, but also no rush, it's not a huge update, so it's not the end of the world if you don't get it installed right away. This month's update isn't super huge, it's more of an under the hood update, but there are a couple fixes, so here's a quick breakdown of everything that's getting fixed. For Pixel 7, 7 Pro, and 7a owners, Google is pushing out a fix for screen flickering and also sudden shutdown issues. For those of us with Pixel 10 devices, Google is also pushing out a fix for an issue that was causing the screen to freeze or to be fuzzy under certain conditions. I know I experienced that a couple weeks ago and made it real about it and have experienced that maybe like once or twice since. So hopefully that'll fix that issue. For Pixel tablet users, you're getting a patch that addresses general system instability. Otherwise, for Pixel 7 and newer devices, Google is pushing out fix for an issue where a semi-transparent background would persist after the camera was launched under certain conditions. Google's also pushing out a fix for an issue where the flashlight status wasn't showing up in the at a glance widget. And lastly, Google is pushing out a fix for system UI. It'll fix an issue where it was crashing when starting and stopping the media output switcher in certain conditions. So that means the system UI should hopefully no longer crash whenever you're sort of switching your audio input. I think that's what that means. But yeah, that's all you can expect for the October 2025 update for Pixel devices. If you haven't seen my last video, I made a video where I challenged my iPhone user friend to use a Pixel phone for a whole week. I let her use my Google Pixel 9 Pro with the understanding that if she, you know, really liked the phone, I'd be willing to give her the phone for free if she wanted to make the switch. So she gave up her iPhone 13 for a week, transferred for everything over into the Google Pixel 9 Pro. And after a week, I interviewed her to sort of hear about her experience and get the verdict on whether or not she would switch to Pixel. So if you're interested in watching that video, it'll be on the screen. So be sure to check that out. But anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Angel, the Google Pixel guy. All right, you take care. Bye-bye.